New York's updated concealed carry policy will take effect Thursday as scheduled after a federal judge threw out a lawsuit challenging it on Wednesday, suggesting states could still have a legally viable way to restrict concealed carry even after the Supreme Court struck down New York's previous law. How New York's ongoing gun control debate will affect other states as however New York's policy fares in federal court will likely help shape other states' regulations. The Supreme Court's ruling, while focused on New York's law, also affected concealed carry policies in several other states, including California, Delaware, Hawaii, Maryland, Massachusetts, and New Jersey. Those states have had to amend their concealed carry laws in the wake of the ruling, and Massachusetts and some local jurisdictions have introduced new policies to address the Supreme Court's rulings. The Supreme Court struck down New York's concealed carry law on June 23, taking issue with the state only granting licenses to people who have proper cause to carry a concealed weapon and ruling the law was overly restrictive. The justices ruled 6-3 to three that the law violated the 14th Amendment and was overly burdensome under the Second Amendment, as the court found its definition of the right to bear arms includes carrying handguns publicly for self-defense. Justices also believe that New York's categorization of Kathy Hochul, D, signing the bill into law on July 1st. The law addresses the court's concerns with a more specific listing of where concealed weapons are banned, like public transportation, bars, schools, churches and Times Square, and more specific requirements for obtaining a concealed carry license more than the more vague proper cause rule. Supreme Court strikes down NY concealed carry law, could lead to rollbacks nationwide. Forbes tracking the effects of the Supreme Court's gun ruling, the trace.